Hey guys, so I'm back and doing another vlog today. I just got done filming a quick Shein haul. I do really love the pieces I found from there. They're super cute. I need to, so now I need to get changed because I cannot go <laughs> into my daughter's school to pick her up like this. So I'm going to get changed and then we're going to go grab my daughter from school. But I wanted to talk about the breakfast I ate. I had a little, couple clips, um, I think, that may have played before this. And it's been so good. I've been totally veg and I love it. I feel better already and I'm hoping to drop a couple pounds. So I'm excited about that. It's been going well. And I forgot how much I loved oatmeal. It was so good this morning and it's super filling. So I'm going to keep eating that for breakfast. And it's definitely been giving me more energy throughout the day, which I love. So, did you guys see this huge snuggy coat? It's so soft and fluffy. It's basically like a giant blanket that you can wear. It's amazing. Um, what else did I want to talk to you guys about? Oh, this lip gloss. And it's not a gloss. I'm going to show you. So, this lip color I'm going to talk to you guys about. I really love it. My sister-in-law, Jenny, actually picked it out for me, and it's the Rouge Allure Velvet number 34. It's from Chanel, and it's beautiful. I don't have any of their lip products, but this is such a gorgeous formula. So that's what the color looks like. I really love it, and I paired it with Vino Lip Liner from MAC, which gives it like a little bit of a darker, not-so-berry vibe, which I like because it's definitely versatile so I actually really love it with this green velvet dress I think it's really fun and cute and this dress is also by Shein I love the top of it though it's just like super soft and cozy perfect for a day like this um I have it on with tights right now and I think it would be really cute with like black over the knee boots so I do have to get changed though so I'm gonna get changed into something more low-key for the pickup line and then I will show you guys what I have on to go pick up my daughter okay guys so I'm changed I'm ready to go I'm about to run out the door but I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing I just have on Michael Kors hoop earrings this is a shirt from Shein that I love and it's just comfy these jeans are super cute and they are from lucky brand got those on sale in the store if I can find them I will definitely link them in the description box for you guys I'm just going to throw on my Adidas sneakers and my big long puffy coat and we have got to get out of here. I don't want to be late to get my baby. So, I cannot tell if these sneakers look insane with these jeans because they're not crossed because I don't have a long mirror down here, but I'm running out of time so I have to go, but I will make a decision about that when I get home. Alright, I'll check in with you guys in the car. Alright guys, so we're in the car. I feel like I haven't chatted with you guys in so long. Like, what are you guys up to? What are you doing? I don't even know where I have been or what I've been doing. I've been in the vortex of winter is what I've been doing. I feel like I'm really struggling with the climate change from North Carolina. Even though I know it's still like cold down there, I just feel like it's way colder up here. And it's not even that bad this week. I love when people pull out in front of you and then just drive so slow. Okay, so what are you guys up to? I have been trying to get myself motivated. I've realized that in the last... Okay, so I thought I gained 15 pounds since I moved home, but I didn't, thank God. But I did gain 15 pounds since my husband came home from Columbia when he was deployed. And that was... I want to say a year and a half ago so I know I definitely did gain weight because I went back and checked my fitness pal so I'm on a healthy lifestyle mission I totally fell off the wagon and just used everything that was going on as an excuse which I hate doing and I've just been lazy which is there is no other pet peeve of mine than laziness and I have just been since we got like in and unpacked and everything like that 
I just feel like I've been lazy and using the weather as an excuse and like moving so I don't have any excuses I literally must stay at home mom I should be like as fit to run a triathlon <laughs> I just don't make the time for it so I signed up for a half marathon which I'm excited about I'm running it in Philly so it's my favorite city to run in just because I love it it's my favorite city people are awesome I need to check with my girlfriends to see if any of them are running it but I just figured if I don't sign up I'm not actually gonna start so I started running and this week I'm up to 15 miles I think yesterday I did five miles and I felt good the only issue is around where I live it's super hilly and I looked at the floors like the amount of elevation that I run and it is pretty hilly like I don't think I'm just being a baby about it so it's good training wise because I feel like it's gonna prepare me for the race and like hills aren't gonna be a shock because if you always run flat land like obviously you're not really challenging yourself so that's been good um, I'm basically just trying to run at a 10 minute mile or under pace I mean I'm not training for the Olympics I just want to get my freaking donk back in shape so that's been good and it's only really been two weeks of me training so I know I have time I have uh, about eight and a half weeks left so I should be good but I'm excited and it's gotten me out into the weather which really is not that bad once you start running so I'm excited about that what else have I been doing um I feel like nothing else really exciting is going on I feel like I can't even see because the Sun is so bright and I feel like half my head is in the dark so I'm going to check in with you guys when we get back home hey guys so I just got back from Target I feel like I have to go to the grocery store literally every day my husband made some black bean soup it's so good but we needed more black beans so I just picked up some low sodium black beans from Target and now I'm just gonna have a snack before dinner it looks so gross but it's actually really good it's roasted potatoes butternut squash organic salsa from Costco and then I also have these jalapenos that my mom makes they're so good my battery's dying so I'm gonna go and I will catch up with you guys later